Wednesday, the 23rd of May 2018, the University of Greenwich secured their third successive Charlton v Homophobia tournament title with a dramatic penalty shootout victory to beat fans for diversity. A record six teams entered the tournament at the Valley on Tuesday, the 22nd of May. Now in its third year, Charlton v Homophobia was set up to help raise the profile of LGBTQI football. This year, for the first time, an RAF representative team and a team of journalists also took part, joining the two finalists. The Proud Valiants, the official Charlton Athletic Supporters Group for LGBTQI fans and CACT and Victa FC, the first ever dedicated LGBT-friendly football team to be affiliated with a professional football club's community trust, returned for their third attempt at taking the trophy. Rob Harris, event organizer and chair of the Proud Valiants, said, It is so important to raise issues around homophobia in football which still very much exist. A lot of great work has been done by a lot of groups up and down the country. Charlton especially have done so much amazing work, not just in this tournament, which is in its third year, but with their dedicated match every February as part of Football v Homophobia Month. Events like this are great. We have young people here, we have old people here, we have people that have just come here for the day to have a good evening out that may not even know what the issues around homophobia are, so it is a good way to communicate to them. Gary Jenna, CSCT and Victus player, manager, said, It just shows what Charlton Athletic and CACT are about, supporting local teams, supporting good causes, fighting discrimination. They were leaders in the fight against racial abuse 25 years ago and now they are leading the fight against homophobic abuse, Simone Pound, the Professional Footballers Association's head of equality and diversity, said, I think it is really great that Charlton is hosting an event like this. It sends out a really strong message from the club that it's an inclusive and welcoming environment regardless of ethnicity, sexuality, it's a game we're all here to enjoy. Head of Community Engagement at the EFL Trust Lou Brackwell said. My role we really want to get this message out to all clubs and all trusts and Charlton really are positively pushing the boundaries and making sure this is up on the agenda, really pushing things forward. We wanted to come and support, recognize the challenges and recognize the progress that the club and trust are making. Fans for Diversity Coordinator Anwar Adin, of the Football Supporters Federation, said, I think it is great that the club have opened their doors and allowed the local community, football fans, to enjoy a night of football. It is great that football can bring people together and not many people get the opportunity to actually play on the pitch and have their family here to watch so it is a great day all around. Marianne Boyle, the University of Greenwich's head of sports strategy, said, We had a fantastic evening at the Charlton v Homophobia tournament. It was a great atmosphere with a good standard of football being played too. As a university equality, diversity and inclusion are important values to us and we are continually striving to create an inclusive environment for our student and staff. It is a privilege to work alongside a club that holds the same values and is pioneering and leading the way in raising awareness of LGBTQI football. To add to a great evening the University of Greenwich's student staff team were once again victorious, taking away the winner's trophy. We will look forward to a bigger and better event celebrating diversity next year and of course will be ready for any new challengers to our triple crown.